All right. You'll see in a lot of different lights, this shed does have power. It's on the grid, as it's called. But what I've got up here, these are Walmart lights, spotlights. They're very good lights. About $20 for two of these lights. They have their own little solar panels, and they work very well for spotlights. And now, these are the solar panels that just put back up. Well, it's just I put up. I've been having them. I just really haven't been using them. They're basically charging three 12-volt car batteries in, in shed, and I'll show it to you. Separate from that, this is one of these lights that the little top part broke. It's here, and I put that spotlight inside the shed. Also have this little solar panel right there. This came off of a uh, spotlight system I bought but uh, failed to work. So again, this one here charges a 6 volt battery. And those over there, those big ones, charge bigger batteries. And I've secured it to the shed. It's what all this is about is there's a relay system that operates, uh, basically clicks on the, uh, the solar power, a little solar panel here, 6 volt, keeps a, a relay that I have in here, a little uh, 6 volt relay activated during the day when it cuts out it basically the six volt battery that I have inside the shed operates the light. I've used the relay system uh, basically to turn off the lights during the day and when the solar power panel quits working or quits getting light the uh, relay disengages and the circuits close there therefore pulling the battery power to the light. Also the uh, six volt light operates this uh, tube LED that you see running. This one right here. This came from another power system that failed to work so I disconnected it and I'm using it as an LED stream um, little tube on top of the shed. And notice there's Christmas tree lights that is 120 volt but LED. Okay now inside here the solar panels that you've seen outside the big ones going through this amp meter right now of course we do have some sun hitting it so you almost got 5 amps uh, 11, 12, 13, about 13 volts and this is the uh, voltage controller and showing you that the uh, batteries are being charged. Of course, very simple to do. You solar panel, your battery, you load. The load is going to, for those, is a 12 volt system. So I have this 12 volt fluorescent light. Bought these at Walmart or Lowe's a while back. They've come real in handy during hurricane season when we have outages. Also, put one up here on the side of the shed to illuminate this area. And on this voltage controller, I do have a, another relay system. That's a 12 volt relay. And again, the same similarities. While the solar panel is getting voltage, until it reaches zero, that, re that relay is engaged. And I have it on where the circuit is open. So the lighting, the light, those two fluorescent 12 volt lights will not light up until this drops to zero volts. Of course, that's during at nighttime. And the relay drops out. It's not engaged anymore allowing the load to go to the fluorescent light. So again, I use the relays for keeping the solar panel or the power going to whatever I am operating from going there. There's batteries. Here are the battery systems down here. Basically, it connects up there where it says the battery symbol. Very simple. Comes here, charges these batteries. Uh, again, in a shed, so basically there's nothing Nobody lives in here, the fumes won't hurt anybody. Um, again, there you have it, my solar panels on my shed experiment by Guy Fungi. Thank you. Get free customer support and free document review by helpful people. LegalZoom is now offered but provides self-help services at your specific direction. For more savings.